The newest and most likely last trailer for Murder Drones just released, showing off scenes from episode 8, and to my delight and surprise, we got not one, but two whole scenes of the best character in Murder Drones, Jay. But based on what she is doing in these scenes and some other accompanying scenes shown in the trailer, it seems as though she is going to go through a small arc that will have an emotional and bleak end. In case you didn't see my video on the uncertain future of Jay, I speculated about every possible outcome for what the future holds for Jay, and one of them is that she will fight Sin. This makes perfect sense as Sin killed Tessa, who is the only character that Jay cares about, but that was pure speculation at the time. But now that we have access to some scenes from episode 8, that theory is more likely than ever. The two scenes we see of Jay are both of Jay aiming a rocket launcher, which isn't much to go off of, besides the fact that in one of those scenes, she looks sad. As we know, the only person Jay cares about is Tessa, who is dead, and her corpse is currently being worn by Sin. The only possible reason I can think of why Jay is distressed in this scene is because for one reason or another, she is fighting Sin, who will try to manipulate her feelings by changing her voice back to Tessa's. Given the lighting of certain scenes, we can tell that Sin and Jay will both be in the same area at some point in the episode, as they are both cloaked in this yellowish-orange hue. We also see a scene where Sin is preparing to attack someone, as she releases her tendrils and destroys a nearby light source, which is her preferred way of killing, as we have seen before when she killed Dahl. So, Jay and Sin are in the same location, both of which are preparing to fight something. Based on these observations alone, I would say that it's certain they are going to fight each other, as Jay has every reason to want to kill Sin given that she killed Tessa, who Jay cares for. However, two issues compromise this theory. Firstly, on Glitch's X banner, advertising episode 8, we see Jay and Sin next to each other without being hostile towards one another. Now given that this is purely promotional material, it therefore isn't canon and doesn't confirm anything, but it's worth acknowledging and begs the question, why isn't Jay trying to kill Sin given that she's standing next to a very obvious corpse of Tessa being worn by Sin, which should immediately make her hostile? Well, remember that Sin still has administration privileges to Jay's programming, meaning that she can take direct control of her whenever she chooses, and can more than likely alter Jay's senses. It hasn't been revealed why Sin decided to wear Tessa's corpse underneath of Tessa's spacesuit, but it's worth taking into consideration that drones normally only see black silhouettes of humans. Who's to say that Sin, who has access to Jay's programming, isn't making her see the black silhouette of her figure which would resemble Tessa? Both of these reasons on why Jay wouldn't attack Sin are fairly reasonable, as I couldn't imagine any scenario where Jay would willingly want to help Tessa's murderer, unless she's being manipulated in some way. As for the second reason why Jay might not fight Sin, in the trailer, we see that Uzi is in the same location as Sin and Jay. In the scene where Sin is about to attack, we can see these distinctive red pipes lining the walls, which are also visible in the background of one of Uzi's scenes, and a later scene where Uzi is being pinned down with the same red pipes behind her, and one of Sin's tendril hands that erupted from her body in this scene, right next to her. This confirms that the scene where Sin is about to attack is in fact directed towards Uzi, and not Jay. But that still leaves the question, who is Jay shooting, and why is she saddened by it? Well, given our previous assumption, Jay is being manipulated in some way by Sin, which we only know that Jay is helping Sin because of Glitch's promotional material, which is infamous for being extremely deceptive, and has shown scenes that don't even appear in the episode that they are promoting. But for the sake of argument, let's just say that this promotional banner is canon and depicts an actual scene we will see in the show. If Jay is being manipulated, I can only assume that she is going to find out some way either it being revealed to her by Uzi, or Sin is going to betray Jay at some point. The only reason I can think of of why Sin would betray Jay is that if she was heavily injured by Uzi in their battle earlier, and needs material to repair her body, and tries to assimilate Jay as she is more useful to Sin as oil and scrap to heal herself, as opposed to being left alive, which is perfectly in character for Sin, given how ruthless and demented she has become. 
But if that doesn't happen, that means that Uzi somehow convinces Jay to betray Sin, which despite Uzi's hatred for Jay, it would be a great showcase of Uzi's development as in episode 3, she made it a point to try to work with others instead of fighting, and after witnessing V put her petty grudge against Uzi aside, it would make sense for V's sacrifice to have a permanent effect on Uzi, and she would try to follow V's example and put her grudge aside for Jay. After finding out the truth, Jay would switch sides and try to fight Sin, which will more than likely lead to Jay's death since there are no other scenes of Jay previewed, but there is always a possibility that she survives and helps the main cast later on, but given how much other stuff needs to happen in this episode to tie up all the plot elements, character dynamics, and mysteries, keeping Jay around who has no importance to any other character in the show other than Tessa, who is dead, is near the bottom of the list on what priorities this episode should have. There is realistically no reason to use any more valuable screen time on Jay past this point, as she really is a non-factor in the grand plot of Murder Drones. Which, although is sad, as I want to see as much of this character as possible, as long as she gets to put up more of a fight than Doll did, and gets one last swan song moment, I will be satisfied. So to summarize the order of events that happened to Jay in episode 8 based on the scenes we are supplied in this trailer, Jay will fight Lizzie and Thad and either win or escape, Jay and Sin who Jay thinks is Tessa due to her visual UI being altered by Sin's administration over her programming, reunite and begin to look around the depths of Cabin Fever Labs for the key to the ship Jay dropped. While they are looking, Uzi re-enters the atmosphere and enters Cabin Fever Labs searching for N and runs into Sin who she fights and barely survives. After this, Uzi runs into Jay at the bottom of the labs near the cathedral given the rocky wall in the background, and Jay immediately aims her rocket at Uzi, as Sin convinced her that Uzi tried to kill her, but before she shoots, Uzi convinces Jay of the truth by noting that it makes no sense for Tessa to be alive as the air on Copper 9 is toxic, and Tessa is no longer wearing her spacesuit. Jay connects the dots and thinks back to when Tessa handed her the keys to the ship, which was odd as that was a code meaning that Tessa and Jay were going to destroy the planet, which should have been a last resort, but Tessa started to put that plan in action before she had even gotten to the bottom of Cabin Fever Labs. After thinking about the inconsistencies of Tessa's actions, and the fact that she's able to roam Copper 9 without her suit, Jay believes Uzi and lowers her gun and hunts down Sin. Jay eventually finds Sin and aims her rocket at her, but Sin tries her best to emotionally manipulate Jay and emulates Tessa's shock at Jay's betrayal and acts like Tessa is heartbroken by who she thought was her best friend trying to kill her. This causes Jay to hesitate, which gives Sin enough time to strike first, wounding Jay, but Jay still tries her best to fight and is still defeated by Sin and has her core ripped out and eaten as Jay spends her last moments reminiscing about her good times with Tessa and dies regretful that she wasn't able to protect Tessa and failed her. This is not my ideal usage of Jay in episode 8, as I would have liked her to die near the end of the episode fighting alongside N and Uzi, but as I mentioned, as long as Jay gets to put up at least a small fight against Sin, or has an extended flashback scene of her times with Tessa, I'll begrudgingly accept that this isn't a terrible utilization of Jay in episode 8. There is also the chance that we will get a cool fight scene of Jay fighting Thad or Lizzie, which could result in her killing one of them and showcasing for the first time since the pilot where N slaughtered the WDF how terrifyingly violent and brutal the murder drones can be against the average worker drone, which is something that fans have wanted to see again ever since the pilot aired. I still hope we get to see more of Jay than what I theorized, but like all things, even if the concept of the way these events play out is slightly disappointing, what really matters is the execution, and given how well episode 7's scenes were directed, and just how good the scenes in the trailer looked, I'm still optimistic that this could be Jay's best episode, and a satisfactory conclusion to this character. Oh, oh no.